Hello, so we had the opportunity today to take a tour of plant 311 at the Keystone RV factory. That's where they make the Alpine, the Avalanche, mm -hmm. and the Laredo. It's really exciting to be there and to see, I mean, we're already seeing so many different RVs, RVs everywhere. everywhere. But we went to Goshen, which is about a half hour from Elkhart, which is where we're staying right now. And I, we got to see all sorts of RVs, but we were especially just excited to see the Keystone. RVs. Exactly. See the Keystone RVs and the, particularly the Alpine and see the different stages of manufacture. We saw from when the frames are bare, nothing's on them, to the frame with the floor on them. And then we saw the walls, how they're put together. And then we saw the, the, the walls where, where they're installed and just, and I'll post all these, post the pictures as well. That we were able to take inside the plant. We're so grateful that Sydney, our representative that we deal with at Keystone, was able to to set up the tour for us. Yeah, we were only, we, the only reason we got in there with all the COVID stuff was because well, we wore a mask. Number one, number two was because we're brand ambassadors for Keystone. So yeah, particularly well, for the Alpine, the we're Alpine. brand ambassadors so, for the Alpine brand. So they were, we're really good. Very about that. pleased with our brand. And they were very ha they were very nice about setting this up and um, taking us through with a few of the people and it was just so fun to see the starts of the of the RV to the end of the RV and that's where ours was built so it was kind of nice to see where our RV had had been built. Yeah, so. Exactly, and it was it was also interesting to hear some of the issues that they've run into. They've run into issues with uh, some of their suppliers right now, particularly air conditioning. Crazy. The, the air like conditioners. Crazy. So there are rigs sitting out there waiting to be delivered that don't have the air conditioners installed mm -hmm. on the top of them yet, simply because there aren't available. And we drove by some other manufacturers that are not one of the Keystone brands, but they're having the same issues. And we saw rigs sitting out on the line that are totally finished out in their storage yards that are totally finished and no ACs up on top of them. Just waiting for those ACs to get in so waiting they Waiting for the ACs to be installed. Send them away and speaking of that, uh, what about the people that tow these things? Are they, they take them to the, yeah, they, the dealerships? So what happens is that when you're, when these rigs are built, they then go to a storage yard. Once they're all, they go through all the quality control processes and everything and they do all their final testing and everything and then they take them to one of the different transport company storage yards or they take them to a storage yard and then the transport companies pick them up and take them to their own places and we have seen multiple storage and transport companies all over the place yep. both in Elkhart and Goshen and everywhere we go there's a sign saying drivers needed help wanted and their storage lots are full. Yeah, so you're looking for a job, I'm sure they could use you. They, they need they drivers, that ha particularly drivers that have trucks, that have the capability of hauling, hauling these rigs. We see some people that are hauling a couple of small trailers on a big flatbed trailer. We see others that are hauling fifth wheels. We see others that are just doing the regular bumper pulls. Mm -hmm. But they need, they need people to drive. And there are people, uh, there are people that actually drive motorhomes that, that sort of thing as well Keystone doesn't manufacture those though so but Thor does which is the parent company of Keystone yeah it was just so it's just so nice to be able to be here something that we have wanted to do for the last couple of years to come up here and to see the Keystone factory and um, so we're really we're really fortunate we got to do that and we're just um, like I said very um, thankful to Sydney and all those that were with her today to um, get us uh, a little bit of a tour and everything and take their time to talk to us and show us everything and and to see how they're all built and uh, and Tom offered some suggestions about our our Alpine that maybe they could do differently and they were very attentive and they wrote notes down so that was really nice that they did that because then they were listening to the, they're listening to the customers which is what they like to do yeah as a matter so, of fact on the the one item that I had suggested was something that that we had been talked about on our Facebook page but nobody had evidently mentioned it to anybody at Keystone. And so I mentioned that, and actually it was that way on a couple of things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they said they'll look into it. And of course, you know, one of the things is in order to 
do some of these things that they want to do, it has to be economically feasible as well. And right. I think both of the things that I suggested are things that are economically yeah. feasible. Now they did show us, boy, we got to see the insides of a 3850, which is their new one with the the big storage in the back mm -hmm. on the and the tray really nice. and we got to see <laughs> I think Tom was drilling just a little bit over that storage unit. We got, part. got to got to see the new colors and mm -hmm. it was really a beautiful rig. The yeah. new colors they're going to a, a lighter gray and they're go moving to tile or the Linoleum, linoleum type, no carpeting. type floor mm -hmm. everywhere. I say linoleum, but it may not actually be a linoleum. I'm not sure. It's a what real the, pretty flooring they're using. What the brand mm -hmm. is, but instead of nice. being the wider blocks, it's more narrow mm -hmm. and but it's really pretty yeah. and just absolutely gorgeous. I, I like what they're doing. Yeah, I like the lighter that. colors, and I think we're seeing that more and more in RVs. That you're seeing lighter colors inside these newer RVs, uh, more one more contemporary. Yeah. Yes, and so Keystone's listened to that too, and they're anxious to, to get this product out. It'll be a little while before they go out, but uh, it'll be when they get out there. I think it's going to be a, a big seller because people are going to like the lighter color. Uh, we can actually have the darker color in ours, but I, well, it was hard to <laughs> to look at those and think, hmm, you know, I, li I like this. I really like this one a little more than mine, but I do love my Alpine. So and we just had it. We're in the process of getting some work done on ours today. The last couple of days, mm -hmm. and that uh, that work was not cheap. So it's yeah. one of those things of <laughs> we better keep you the know, RV. <laughs> if we were gonna do this, we should have done before we did these. Maybe uh, we should. Stuff. If we were gonna upgrade, maybe we should upgrade it before. But we're good. We, we love our Keystone, and we're happy with it, and we're anxious to get it back tomorrow and get to the campground, the Elkhart yeah. campground, for a few days, and. Um, get back on the road next Tuesday and but again this has been a great experience here we've loved it we are thank, thankful to everybody that helped us out here and we can't wait to come back again yeah we've really enjoyed it up here the, just everybody is really nice in the area and the people are nice every place we've gone has been really really nice we stopped in at Furion we just drove by a couple of more ride facilities today we drove by an LCI facility see the LCI trucks on the road and the Morai trucks on the road we've seen uh, it's just amazing to see all of the, the different manufacturers that are in this general vicinity the Goshen Middlebury um, and Elkhart areas it, it's just phenomenal to see how much industry is going on in this area. I don't know how you could live here and not have an RV. <laughs> I'd go crazy if I lived here and not have an RV because you see, you see them, them everywhere. everywhere. So <laughs> although maybe it's maybe it's like if you work in a fried chicken factory yeah. or you know, a fr fried fried, fried chicken restaurant. You, know, you, you chicken? don't eat fried chicken. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's a little bit different. <laughs> so well it thanks for be. listening. We appreciate it. All right. Um, and we'll try to post some pictures later of uh, of our experience there at the uh, Keystone factory. So here's plant 311, Alpines, Avalanche, and Laredo's. Hope you enjoy the tour. Here's the frame um, turned right side up and you can see some of the foil in there. Floors have been installed, and you can see in the background some of the interior walls have started to be installed on these. So it's a little hard to see, but there's the new floors and what the new cabinets are going to look like in the new color scheme for the Alpines. It's going to grays and it's going to look really nice. I think everybody's going to be really happy with that. So this plant receives the walls already laminated from their lamination plant, which is done right on site. So if there's a problem, they can get it fixed right away. 
Well, you can see that the walls are being installed and it's all starting to come together now. Interior ceiling and the roof has now been installed. More of the interior has been installed. You can see the on-demand hot water heater has been installed in this one. And you can see the bathroom fixtures are starting to go in as well. So things are rolling along pretty well for this one. Here's the new standard electric power reel and also the insulation in the new back wall. Man, look at those beautiful, freshly painted caps that are getting ready to go on. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Well, for an RV, you know. The next step for this one now is the rubber roof. This one gets its rubber roof first thing in the morning and then the next one moves into the jig. Something I didn't know is that under the rubber roof, there's a piece of tape that seals the laminated wall to the wooden roofing. More interior prep. Slides have been installed and everything is really coming together. Here we can see on this 3700 series, it's one of those 3700 ones, that everything's coming together. It's going to be getting furniture soon. Appliances are getting installed. All the cabinet doors will be there. It's looking great. Decals have been installed. I would not want that job. Whew! All those bubbles you got to worry about? No way. Here's the finished product sitting outside. There's several other ones here. You can see them all in the storage area. Most of these are waiting for something that wasn't available during production. So once they get them, they'll get installed and get moved on to sh shipping. Well, the tour is over. Here we are with Sydney, our brand ambassador host, and Krista. And we thank them and also John and Dustin for all the work that they did for our tour today. We really appreciate it. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video and of the tour and the pictures that we took of the tour for the Keystone Alpine factory. We were really grateful for that uh, tour that we had from them and we appreciate Keystone being so kind and then taking us through to see the process. Yeah, it was very enlightening and I think they're gonna take a couple of our suggestions in the heart and uh, look at incorporating them into future production models, which is kind of neat. I'll someday hope to be able to see a keystone come out and it's like, hey, I contributed to that. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so that'd be kind of neat. So if you like the video, please hit like. If you're interested in getting future, uh, finding out about our future things, please hit the bell for the notifications and please subscribe to us. And as usual, We'll see, see you around, around the, the campfire. campfire. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll adjust it. <laughs>